Steal my AI automation for restaurants that I've just built. With this automation, you will have a fully functional AI agent that doesn't just take orders. It books appointments on your calendar, updates your Google Sheets, does all the calculation and has every detail about your menu. From food items and quantities to pricing and more, basically it runs your ordering system on autopilot all right let's get right into it on my left side we have whatsapp on the right side we have na10 na10 is quite popular as an ai automation platform same as make.com or zapier right here we're just going to execute the workflow and see how it works hey could you tell me what type of food you guys serve and if you could send me the menu too all right as you can see here it's retrieving the data and it's going because i sent an audio it's transcribing it and sending it to our ai agent all right right there okay we serve an authentic italian cuisine at etc etc our menu includes a variety of delicious options Okay, let's try to see what would happen if I want to make a reservation. Yeah, uh, I would like to make a reservation for three people. And let's try not to give it too much detail. Let's see if the AI is going to retrieve the information that we need. Keep in mind, this is very customizable. It's, I'll, I'll give you this, of course, uh, this and uh, workflow. And you can use it and change the prompt as you would like. All right, looks like we got a message. I'll be happy to help you make a reservation for three people. Could you please provide me with your name, email, and prefer the reservation time? Okay, we've been sending audio messages. Let's send text. Let's see if it's still gonna work quite as good when I text. Also, this is not my email, so make sure to not send it to whoever's email is this. For three, let's make it for three people. Okay, my email is etc. Et Would love to make a reservation on November the 25th for three people. My name is Jade. Let's see. All right. Okay. Your reservation for three people on November the 25th is confirmed. Jade, the booking is under your name with email. Ta -ta -ta. If you need further assistance or want to explore our menu, please let me know. We look forward to serving you. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'll check my Google Sheets. And as we can see, we got the order ID of the time. So it looks like we got the customer name, the phone number, and um, I'll, I'll make sure to set my editor to blur this out because this is actually my phone number. Uh, the email confirmed reservation and like the notes also on the 25th. But keep in mind, this is my prompt. So you can change it to however, however you would like to have to. All right, let's check our also like Google Calendar. And as we can see here, reservation for three people on November 25th. All right, let's dissect this workflow. First, I use WhatsApp as the trigger. Uh, if you're having some issues with WhatsApp, just leave a comment down below. I would love to send you a video of actually how to get your credentials from um, Meta. You need your client ID and the client secret, which I will be blurring everything here. On the next block, we have the switch rule. Essentially, what it does, it just like sees the trigger from WhatsApp and sees if it's a text message or an audio file. If it's an audio file, it goes directly to the HTTP request. If it's a text message, it goes directly to the AI agents. The way I did this was I took the JSON format, but before you have to do the JSON format, you have to get your WhatsApp trigger working so we can get the previous notes and you will get the JSON format. And I just simply did, if it exists, it goes on the HTTP request as I showed earlier. And if there's a text message, if it exists, it goes as text. You simply just add ruling rule and you go object, you go object exists, and then you take from your previous notes what happened. We have here two HTTP requests. One is that it gets the audio from the WhatsApp trigger. And the second one is it downloads the audio and sends it to OpenAI to transcribe the recording so they can send it to our AI agents. Essentially, we're going to have two AIs, one that transcribes the audio and the second one that goes through through the entire process with, with the Google documents, the um, Google Calendar and the Google Sheets. From here on the HTTP request, I did get method. 
simply i just put the url that i get from whatsapp they can they make our life easier you can just take the previous notes uh, i just put a predefined credential type and a bear auth and whatsapp bot connection here you need your bearer token you get it from metal then same thing here we take the json url from the previous notes to get method authentication i just put a predefined credential type bear auth from whatsapp same thing the bearer token from metal once we do all of that we send it to OpenAI to transcribe our recording because it got downloaded. I take resources as audio, transcribe a recording, and input data field name data. Simple as that, no settings, and it goes through our AI agents. Here's simply what I did for our AI agents. I just give it a basic prompt. You are a, you are a restaurant AI agent. You can handle the following tasks from the menu content, the menu tool, check the availability from our Google Calendar, for, and creates uh, basically I'm just saying all the process that is here they like the AI agent needs to go through these steps for this demonstration because it's quite simple I'm using OpenAI chat model but the best one to use if it's quite complex not only for restaurants but if you have more complex maybe into the stock market or other other niches I would recommend using Claude. Claude works really well on NA10. Here I did the simple, simple memory. So the simple memory works, for example, when I send a message on WhatsApp, it goes through the messages. So context window length. So kind of like 10 messages before. And you could do more. Here I did the find below, four key, 10 um 10 context window length here is simply on google docs i just made a simple menu to be able to have kind of like a knowledge base i put in the pricing the type of food they serve and this this is the menu it's called Rest ristorante Bellavita. it's kind of like an italian food i put in the pricing and the type of food they have the appetizers etc etc I just used a simple knowledge base for that. We need our AI agent to be able to connect to our Google account. Not only even for Google Doc, you need to sync your account with NA10 to have access to your Google uh, Google account, which I already did. So here simply it just checks our Google Calendar uh, if there is availability or if it, there isn't. And I made a description, a fixed description. So Google Calendar account connected it to mine. I set it to manual. And the description is, this is a calendar get tool for you to check, is there any event in certain time slots? Start time to search, end time to search before. So resources, events, operation, get many. And on it's connected to my business email account here i just put it on return all and this is it yeah as simple as that and also if you're having some issues with connecting your google account to na10 just leave a comment down below i would love to help you and this is the create event so same as the one that we did before same account everything we just changed the description this is our calendar create tool. You need to pass start time and time for booking. Also pass the name for the time slot right here. And we also put the summary from the previous notes. We take the JSON files and all the way to the end, we have our Google sheet account where it's connected to our accounts. And from the list of documents, restaurant orders, that's what I call the Google Sheets. The description is quite simple. This is the food order sheet. You can put the name, contact, and food under the sheet column. Include name, contact, delivery address, and also the food if they want to order food. Um, I the tool description put into set manually. Resources sheet within document operation app in row and from the document the Google Sheet as I mentioned and the sheet one because there are multiple sheets. I did only one sheet and this just gives like an idea of how powerful NA10 is. You could have your own CRM and be able to connect it to your CRM. It doesn't mean that you have to use Google Sheets. Um, so yeah, I put the order ID. I'll let the AI uh, automatically do it. Accept the date and customer name and phone number. 
because I uh, like once my WhatsApp gets triggered, I can automatically get their phone number and put it in here. Also their name because it's connected to their account. Yeah, let the AI do it. All the rest, I just let the AI do it. All the way to the end, we have the calculator. Calculator is quite simple. It just calculates if they ask what's the price for everything. Simply, you do nothing on it. Even the settings, you don't have to touch it. It just calculates everything. And once it's done, it sends us the message. Oh, I need to blur this out. So here it's blurred and that's how you do it. All right, that'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was quite short. I appreciate you watching until the end. And if you're still having issues with building this workflow, just leave a comment down below and join the link down in the description. You will have access to all of our NA10 automations. And yeah, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.